Churchgoers are like coals in a fire. When they cling together, they keep the flame aglow. When they separate, they die out. The words of Billy Graham kicking off today's edition of Faith Filter with Pastor Jesse from Grace Community Church in Auburn, Washington. I'm Erica, and in the summer, I'll be the first one to say, sometimes it's a little easier to go to the lake for Sunday or to sleep in and, you know, hang out on the beach all day. Why is it so important for us to gather as believers at church in the summertime? I think a lot of people feel what you feel and thinking what you're thinking because we wait a long time for that sun to come out in the Pacific Northwest. And then we have a couple months. And so we're instantly thinking, what am I going to do outside today? Am I going inside the church? And there's part of us that hesitates, reluctant, you know, to really gather and praise the Lord on Sunday mornings. We could be sleeping in, exercising, all these other things. Yeah. And we were on vacation. You know, it's a different rhythm in the summer. And we were in northern Minnesota together, waking up in the morning on Sunday and just thinking, no one will really know if I didn't go to church today. You know, I can sleep in here. The The whole extended family's there. A lot of them aren't going to church. But we went, and it was this little log cabin church in northern Minnesota, and we heard such a good message from the pastor, a time of worship, and then he gave an invitation. And in a small church, seven people decided to trust Jesus. And we saw that, and I was just thinking, what more during the day could have been inspiring than that? And I almost missed it. I almost just skipped out on what God was doing. So it was a reminder to me, and Erica, I think underneath a lot of our walk with God, it comes down to commitments, yeah. beliefs, and I'll tell you, you'll decide one of two paths. You'll either be a maybe when it goes to church, or you'll be a yes. Mm-hmm. And if you're a maybe, and especially if you're a grandparent or parent, your kids pick up on that, and they start to think, oh, church is optional, God's optional. This is more about how we feel and what we want to do. We're kind of calling the shots, and you don't yeah. realize it unintentionally, but that tone it sets. Maybe. Well, maybe with the weather, maybe, you know, if there's not a sports game on this morning, maybe. Or you're as for me and my house, we will seek the Lord. We will serve the Lord. And that's a huge difference. You say, what's one degree off? But that trajectory over years and in America right now, average follower of Jesus goes to church about once a month. So clearly it's not just summer, uh, but I didn't grow up with church. And when I came to know the Lord, I just thought this is such a gift to be able to go to a a place. What place is like church where you can really grow in your faith? And if you're not excited about your church, find one you're excited to go to. There are so many great churches across the sound. You are absolutely right. And I have to say, I love my church family. There isn't a Sunday where I don't think, oh, especially because I wake up at four in the morning during the week, that I wouldn't love to just stay in bed and have my coffee for a couple hours. But every single time... I go to church. I'm so thankful. It takes me literally one sip of coffee in 60 seconds to sit down and see the people who are for me, all around me, cheering me on. And then I have a chance to cheer them on. Pastor Jesse, what else happens when we meet together in person in the summer? I love that perspective, Erica. And, you know, some people say, well, I'll just go golf and I'll golf with God. And I think you (laughs) should golf with God, whatever you're doing, you know, enjoy it with the Lord. But when you're golfing, there's things you don't have. And all the one another's from the Bible, serve one another, love one another, encourage one another, pray for one another. All of those, you can't find a room where people are just pouring out their hearts, speaking God, praising God. Uh, You also will be in the Word. I mean, go to a church where there's a message from the Word and spending that 30 minutes in the Word, having that time set apart, it simply honors God. And it sets the tone for the week because it's the first day of the week. And it sets the tone and says, God, you are my Lord. I have no more important relationship than you. I have no higher calling, no greater role than to abide with you, Jesus. And Jesus, you're my treasure. Everything else is is not primary. And when you set the tone with that, it carries over. And there's so many blessings that come from it. And I, I just want to encourage people, there, there's some foundational pieces, you know, like choosing to be in God's Word. And the, the Bible is Scripture. It's reliable. It's our true source. It's our North Star. That is so foundational. And then also finding a church family, because throughout Scripture, you see what is God's plan? What is His best? What is His uh, blueprint for us? And it's to have a local church where not only, listen, we're not going to be entertained and evaluate everything. That, that's not it. 
Right. We are going to worship God and to uh, serve the people around us. And we're not in a consumer mindset. We're all together, priests, ministers, ambassadors. And when you've been serving the Lord all week, because we're all in full-time ministry, you need a place to refresh. You need a place to get refueled. And, and that's really what church is. Amen. I can recommend a great place, Grace Community Church in Auburn. Pastor Jesse preaches there. Thank you so much for your time as always, and God bless you. Yeah, it takes a step of faith to go from online to in person, but let's take those relationship risks together. God will always meet you when you seek Him, and there's a joy in doing it in the body of Christ. Multicultural, multi generational. We need to unite right now. Our nation's divided. So mm-hmm. thank you, Erica, for this timely message and just highlighting the joy that there really is as we gather in church together. Amen. And hey, golf on Saturday with God. That's what I'm hearing. (laughs) Both and. We're going for both. Yes. Thanks, Pastor Jesse. Take care. You too.